Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Incendio. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what I'm about to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Revelio. Incendio! Rebellion.
So this is the underground harbour. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia, I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make a look at this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. 
I should attend Transfiguration. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? Revelio! I'm not encouraging you. <laughs> and nor am I. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? 
Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! 
My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh no, a person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation.
Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a porky that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Do you let me know if I can be a... Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. I hope to see you again. Farewell. Revelio. Rebellion. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. 
Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear, good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance... A prevent of dying, are we? safe to explore in there.
past the high wing. Slow down now. There we go. High wing, go! You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Akio! Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Incendio! Akio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Rebellion. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant.
Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Good for you. Feels like a two. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic, and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagine. Akio! Stacks holding on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Akio! Akio! Guardian Leviosa! the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Accio! Accio! Revelio! Incendio! We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Revelio! You've done it! Revelio! I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice.
We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. I need to find a safe way across. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Rebellion. Dramatic, isn't it? Rebellion. Oh. 
Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. Rebellion. That works. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. Also dealing with rune symbols. Rebellion. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Akio. Rebellion. I 
see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Incendio. Rebellion. Dead end. Lovely. Action. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. 
Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperia! That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity! I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperial! <laughs> Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperial, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know but not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. We've always looked out for each other, Ominous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed. How long would the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. Revelio. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Don't 
make the kill. Oh. Stop provoking them. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Rebellion. What's he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? I have some promising news about the location Rebellion. of the dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade.
incendio. Glaciers. A new student wants to help me with my time. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well? What did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Felthcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic? Dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Come now, don't be stingy. We've got dark wizards these days that make everything. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Revelio. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it's over. At least until we've done what we came to do. Akio! Rodego! Rebellion.
How charming. They keep in touch with each other. There she is again. Repair her. She's fantastic. From a distance. Revelio. How good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebridean's love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. Revelio. Quiet, what was that? She listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Why is every bridge here broken? The power. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss.
That was brilliant! And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Revelio. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Rebellion will stop by whenever you're about. I'm simply saying I thought the owl looked a bit like a fine to me. I'm not sure I'd know what an unwell owl would look like. Accio! Your... Thank you. 
Revelio. who lives here. Place has seen better days. Past the highway. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Rebellion. Rebellion. I should investigate. Huh. 
These rocks have seen better days. Rebellion. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. Lived here, I wonder. <coughs> Rebellion. 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 This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Quite stately in its time.
totalis. Rebellion. Place to see better days. Revelio. Bombarda. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Accio. Glacius. Rebellion. Incendio. That wasn't too hard. Revelio. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion.
Revelio. I should investigate. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. Rebellion. 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 A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, Perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. 
Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. is looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship Rebellion. for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Akio! Rebellion. I've read about mines like this. Akia, something else altogether. I'll meet you. You'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. Good at sneaking about. You'll see. Through his safety on me. 
الأدوات Being watched by a door. Revelio. Incendio. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. Revelio. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Revelio. Oh, yeah. 
Small for whatever it is. Incendio. Rebellio. I wonder if the boiler powers the lever. I suspect it must. Rebellio. The boiler activated that handle. See it? Rebellion. Devil's snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Ah. Incendio. Revelio. Send it. Rebellion. Mushroom tea. Here we go. 
Right. That should be the last of them, I mean. It's not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodcott what we found. Retracing our steps. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Almost out of here, our meat. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what just... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of 
goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Nice to see you, my young friend. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. A 
hope to see you again. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Repairer! 